Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with the sixth match week of Premier League predictions. In this week we've got some absolutely massive, massive games including a North London derby, Chelsea versus Manchester City and Manchester United taking on Aston Villa. A massive, massive week that could sort out a lot come the end of the season in terms of who's finishing high, who's going to have a shocker of a season and who is going to proper put a name down as title favourites this time out. But before we get into today's video, joining us today we have got a fellow YouTuber, Epic Gamer Josh, football fan. He does streams most nights on GTA, he's done Fortnite, he's done FIFA, like I've said, a big WWE fan. And at the end of the month, he has got a match day vlog at Turf Moor, Burnley versus Brentford. So if you do enjoy my match day vlogs, make sure you guys do go check him out and give him a sub so you don't miss his version of events at the end of the month. But before we get into today's video, smash that like button while you're down there. Go into the comments and give Epic Gamer Josh some love. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We are on the road to 1,300 subs. Let's see. This might be a tough one. If we can push for 1,300 before the full, full release of the game next Friday, October the 1st. That might be a push. But I want to challenge you guys because of how insane you have been as of late. But without further ado, take it away, Josh. Let's get it. My prediction for the Chelsea versus Manchester City match is um, going to be a 2-1 victory for Chelsea. Man City are going to score a goal because they like scoring goals. But so do Chelsea and Chelsea are still unbeaten in the league and I think they will continue their unbeaten run in the Premier League by beating Man City. Um, my prediction is 2-1 to Chelsea. Lukaku and... Timo Werner bagging one goal each. Right then, so the first game of the match week, we are heading over to Stamford Bridge. Chelsea hosting Manchester City. Chelsea, one of only a couple teams that are still undefeated in this season. Four wins and a draw coming against Liverpool a couple match weeks ago. City, not struggling, but they're finding it a bit hard to get some sort of consistent rhythm, rhythm sorry, coming this season. Three wins and a draw and a defeat. Last time, of course, coming away with a nil-nil draw at, um, at Southampton. So, will they want to come back for revenge? Yeah. Are they going to be strong enough to beat Chelsea? I don't think so. I reckon Chelsea, obviously United are going to win the league, but um, now nah, joke aside, I reckon Chelsea are probably the favourites to win this season. And I reckon they're going to put a big marker down here today. Beating the champions two goals to nil. My prediction for the Manchester United and Aston Villa game. Um, I mean, Man U have been absolutely class this season so far. Um, they've got Ronaldo, Sancho, Varane and, um, you know, other key players as well. Um, I think Man U are going to demolish Aston Villa in front of the Old Trafford crowd. Um my prediction for that match is Manchester United 4, Aston Villa 1. Next up, we have got the boys, Manchester United hosting Aston Villa. United, of course, still one of only a handful of teams to remain undefeated. Exact same record as Chelsea and Liverpool. Four wins and a draw. Villa with a mixed bag of results, to say the least. They've got two wins, two defeats and a draw, of course. So... It could be an interesting game. Villa, of course, they look okay. They've got some nice new players in. Buendia, Martinez is back, of course. Um, Danny Ings has been banging it for them, just to name a couple of their new players. Leon Bailey, of course. I reckon it could be a good game, but I do reckon the Reds will come away with another victory heading into the next week of Champions League football. I reckon it'll be... I reckon it'll be a big game, you know. I'm going to say 3-2. 3-2 to United. My prediction for the Leicester City versus Burnley match. Um, Leicester, they have been a fantastic Premier League team since they won the Premier League in 2016 and I don't see them having a problem getting past Burnley. Um, they won't demolish Burnley, um, but they will win um, 3 0. Such an easy prediction for Leicester versus Burnley. 3 0 to Leicester. Next up, we have got Leicester City hosting Burnley at the King Power. Leicester with a mixed bag of results to start the season. Two wins and three defeats, including last time out, losing to Brighton at the Amex. I was there, of course. If you have not seen the matchday vlog, do go and check that out. But 
Leicester versus Burnley. Burnley still without a win to their name. They have got a single point from a draw, however. I reckon... I reckon Leicester should win. I'm going to go 1-0 to Leicester. Jamie Vardy goal. Simple as. Um, Everton versus Norwich. Um, Everton are, have been a good team so far this season, especially under their manager, Rafa Benitez, who is a legend in management. Um, Norwich, on the other hand, are my prediction for the first team to be relegated, as they have been every time they've won the championship. Um, I would say it's going to be easy for Everton. So my prediction is Everton 3, Norwich City 0. Next up, we've got Everton hosting Norwich. Everton with three wins, a defeat and a draw. Norwich with zero wins, zero points, zero draws, zero everything. They have got five defeats to their name and I can't see that changing this time out. I do reckon Everton will come with a pretty straightforward victory and I reckon Rafa's men are going to come away decently. I'm going to say 4-0 to Everton. No disrespect to Norwich, but... I do reckon you're going to struggle massively this season. I reckon you'll start getting some points here or there, but I don't reckon you'll get them at here. Leeds United versus West Ham. Well, what can I say? I mean, West Ham have been fantastic in the Premier League so far this season under David Moyes. Leeds have been a bit disappointing, and um, even though I am a Bradford City supporter, I'm not going to be biased. Um, I could be biased, but... I'm going to go with a realistic prediction. Leeds United 1 and West Ham 2. Next up we've got Leeds United hosting West Ham. Leeds with an interesting season. They've not played terribly but they've got zero wins, three draws and two defeats. So they need to start getting those wins because you can keep drawing every game. You can go undefeated but you can still get relegated. And I don't reckon they will get relegated, but they do need to start getting those wins under their belt. West Ham flying high at the moment, of course. Uh, two wins, two draws and one defeat coming at the hands of Man United last week. I do reckon West Ham are going to win. But I reckon Leeds will give them a good go of it. I'm going to say 2-1 to West Ham. And I reckon it'll be a decent little game to watch, to be honest. But yeah, 2-1 to the Amers. Wofford and Newcastle at Vicarage Road. Um, Wofford and Newcastle... They're not really special in any way. They're not. It's not going to be a key game. It's going to be a game that's going to be more or less boring. Um, I think both teams will be trying their hardest to um, defeat the other. But my prediction for that game will be Wofford 1, Newcastle United 1. And to end the Saturday Night Football, Watford host Newcastle United... Ooh, I'm going to say Newcastle win this personally. I reckon Newcastle haven't got a win under their name belt yet. They have got two draws and three defeats. Uh, Watford, however, two wins and three defeats. So, ex similar, well, exactly the same as Leicester's record. But I still reckon Watford will go down. And I reckon Newcastle will also join them going down. But I do reckon Newcastle will get the edge here. I reckon this is a big, big game for both sides here. Looking to get those points against Teams or rounds where they will finish at the end. And I reckon Newcastle will come away with the win. 1-0. The next game to predict is um, Brentford and Liverpool. Brentford, outstanding start to the season for them. Um, a win last time out of Wolves. Um, Liverpool, they're not as uh, dominant as they were when they won the Premier League. They have let steam off a bit. But um, I think it's going to be an easy match for Liverpool. It's going to be a hard match for Brentford. The hardest test for them yet. Um, they are going to score a goal through Ivan Toney. But Liverpool are going to win 3-1. So my prediction is Brentford 1, Liverpool 3. Um, my prediction for Southampton versus Wolves is... Uh, it's just going to be a, a standard prediction, a very easy prediction. Um, I'm going to say a barring drubbing, or as I as other people call it, a nil-nil draw. Um, Southampton, they're no special. They've not done anything good so far this season. Wolves, they've been really poor under their new manager since their previous manager left and took charge of Tottenham. 
Um, I don't see anyone anyone scoring goals, so my prediction is Southampton nil, Wolves nil. And to kickstart Super Sunday, we are heading to the St Mary Stadium. Southampton host Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolves with a win and four defeats. So, so unlucky to not be on five wins right now. Honestly, the first three games, including the defeat against us, they should have won. They have played really, really well. And it's such a shame from they don't have a striker high on confidence. Jimenez, if he was firing as we know he can, they would be storming this right now. But they don't have that clinical edge. Traore has been working his ass off and he's just not coming off for Wolves. I don't know when it will click for him. I do reckon... It will click from here today. I reckon Southampton again, four draws and a defeat. Maybe a bit unlucky in some of those, but I do reckon Wolves will get their second win of the season here. 2 0 against the Saints. It is yet another London derby for Tottenham. Tottenham and Arsenal. I mean, um, what can I say really? It's going to be a really easy prediction. Arsenal have been very, very poor this season. They've got two wins on the bounce. Because the first, obviously, fellow relegation battle is Norwich and Burnley. Um, but I think Arsenal are going to find it really, really tough at the, Emirates, at the Emirates against a Tottenham side that will be looking to bounce back after their defeat against Chelsea last time out. Um, I'm going to say Tottenham are going to demolish Arsenal. Arsenal nil. Spurs far. And the headline show on Super Sunday, the North London derby. Arsenal host Tottenham Hotspur. Arsenal two wins and three defeats, while Spurs have three wins and two defeats. And I reckon this game is going to be absolutely massive. If Spurs win this, it will proper give them a boost and kick on from a good start to the season. That's slowly dragging out a little bit. Arsenal, if they win this, that would be massive. Start the season with three defeats. Got two back-to-back -back wins um, in the last two weeks, 1-0. But if Arsenal go on and win this, that will catapult them through the rest of the season, I reckon. And it'll be a huge catalyst into them not getting relegated, which we all want to see. But um, yeah, I'm going to go a draw, 2-2 two -two draw on the North London derby. Josh, lad. It's been um, noted that you're going to be at the Palace versus Brighton game for Monday Night Football. Football under the floodlights. Everybody loves a bit of football under the floodlights. Um, I believe it's going to be a fantastic match between Palace and Brighton. Um, Brighton are currently fourth in the Premier League, which is absolutely outstanding from them. And Crystal Palace, um, they're a bit hit and miss under their manager Patrick Vieira and dare I say this but I'm predicting for Crystal Palace to beat Brighton so my prediction is Palace 2 Brighton 1 and now some Monday night football Crystal Palace host bitter rivals Brighton Big, big rivalry game. I didn't know much about this rivalry, to be honest with you. But I will be at this game on Monday night. So expect a match day vlog on the Tuesday. Um, I think, what did they call The M23, the A23 derby. But a big, big game. All the way rooting back from the 70s. I do reckon, I reckon Brighton's got this. I will be sitting with the Crystal Palace fans. So, might not make for good content. But, I do reckon Brighton will come over the win. And I reckon it'll be a... I reckon they're going to pull a surprise off here. You know? I'm going 3-1 to the Seagulls. But that is where we're going to end today's match week prediction. So once again, every single one of you, if you enjoyed his content, make sure you guys go, do, go down below. <laughs> Give him some love in the comments and go check out his channel. He's on 209 subs as this video goes live. Let's try and boost that number a little bit. Go give him a chance. Subscribe to his channel. And if it works out, you've found a new favourite streamer. If not... At least you tried. But um, yeah, massive, massive thank you to Epic Game and Josh. He didn't have to get involved, but he did. So once again, massive, massive thank you. And that is it from me. So once again, go check out Josh's channel. I'll see you guys next time. Massive, massive thank you. And um, peace. <laughs>